Today's video is sponsored by Black Gold Compost Company. I want to thank the good people over at Black Gold for the generous donate, donation of all this beautiful black cow cow manure that uh, we use in our video today. And uh, it's made a tremendous success in our garden. I've been using black cow for uh, many years, ever since 1980, and it's always made a tremendous difference in my garden. And I've been very pleased with our product. I highly recommend it. Thank you, Black Gold, for sponsoring our channel. Well, good morning, Homestead family. It's cucumber day. We'll be right back after the break. Well, welcome back, friends. Today we're gonna to grow some cucumbers together. We're gonna to grow them on the uh, trellis, and we're gonna start them from seed. Uh, this is a, an Asian cucumber. It's long and slender and very crisp. Has a great flavor. I just particularly like them, I'll tell you the truth. They're very good. Nancy uses them in all kinds of cooking recipes, so stay tuned. She's gonna have some of them coming out for you. But um, you know, we've done a lot of videos on cucumbers before, so this really ain't nothing new to a bunch of you. I just thought you'd like to uh, see this uh, particular variety. I got this one at johnnyseed.com. It's called Nagi, Nagi Cucumbers. Now, I'm probably really butchering up the way to say that because I'm not Asian. Nancy usually laughs at anything I try to pronounce. But anyway, this is... Um, a good cucumber seed, you can get them at Johnny's. And um, I'm gonna start them right here in the uh, seed starting trays. And if you've never grown anything from seed and started it from seed, this is your first time, don't let it scare you, ain't nothing to it. We'll get these things started here. And uh, if you've never seen any of our videos on starting seeds, go check out this one video. Nancy will, Nancy will give you a link to it. It's called Starting Seeds Successfully nothing to it you can do this and uh, let me get this uh, this uh, tray planted and we'll get it over in the seed starting rack and let them get to germinating so let me get to it well there you go got me a tray of the noggy cucumbers so let me get these things over there in the seed starting rack and let's get these things started germinating okay there they are, off and running. We'll be back in the days ahead to watch the uh, progress of these beautiful Nagi cucumbers all the way to the day where you can pick them off the vine and eat them. So we'll be back in the days ahead. Stay with us. Wow. 
Well, happy new day, Homestead family. Our Unagi uh, cucumbers have been growing for four weeks. They've been out here on the hardening table for right out about a week. And as you can see, they're doing really good. And take a close up look at these beauties. You can see they've got some good stem structure, beautiful true leaves. They're all about six inches tall. And they're at the perfect size right now to go ahead and get these things transplanted over to our trellis garden. So we're gonna put these in today. Um, I'm gonna be using fish underneath them to fertilize them. I like to use fish, great organic fertilizer. That, that fish will last the whole life of these, uh, the, the whole life cycle of these cucumbers. So what I do is I'll dig a hole, put the fish in, I'll lime over the fish so that you know the smell of the decomposing fish doesn't draw in animals. Then I'll cover up the fish, then I dig a little small hole, and then I'm gonna add bone meal and blood meal in the hole, install the little seedling, cover her up, let her go. <laughs> I'm gonna put in some uh, little bamboo uh, stakes uh, to, to help them hold them vertically until they can get up tall enough to grab a hold of the trellis. Once they get on the trellis, it, it's all up to them at that point. So let's go over here and get these beautiful Unagi cucumbers in the ground and off and running. I meet you over at the trellis garden. Well, we're ready to get started. I've got the, um, the trellis bed amended with about four inches of uh, black cow cow manure, which will uh, really help me with my sandy soil here in Florida. So I've got the, uh, the cow in. I'm going to dig my holes on about 18 inches apart, 12 to 18 inches apart. That'll be a good spacing for my um, cucumbers. So then I'll get that hole down. I like to dig the hole about eight inches, eight to nine inches deep. And that's where I'll put the fish. So when I get that fish down at the bottom of that hole and I put the lime over it, I can cover it over. And then I put the little seedling on top and it's not sitting right against the fish. It'll give that fish time to decompose as that plant is root is reaching out. And as that root reaches out, just about the time it gets down that deep, that uh, fish has decomposed to the point where it gives an instant burst of fertilizing all kinds of nutrients to that little seedling that at, at that point it'll be a small plant and it'll burst with uh, all kinds of nutrients and let that thing grow all the way up this trellis. So let's get started on getting this job done. All in the morning's work. <laughs> Got 35 cucumbers installed underneath the trellis. I'm looking forward to the days ahead when Nancy comes out here and she just harvests us to her little heart's content and she'll make all kinds of good stuff with this um, cucumber. Nancy, she makes all kinds of cool Asian dishes. I'm sure she'll make a couple of recipe videos for you on how to use these things in, in your cooking in the kitchen. So anyway, we'll keep our eyes on these um, uh, Yanagi uh, cucumbers. They're only a month old as of today. So um, we'll be back in the days ahead and watch the progression of these, uh, these vines as they crawl up this beautiful trellis and they make some nice looking cucumbers. So we'll be back soon.
Well, good morning. We started our Naga cucumbers 54 days ago in the seed trays over there and had them planted out here and they're all the way up to the trellis now. So the little tendrils are grabbing and wrapping themselves around those, uh, this trellis and they're gonna start pulling themselves up and climbing. You can also see that there's plenty of blooms on here. They're really blooming out really nice. I've already got little baby cucumbers on the females that are about two inches long. So it's not gonna be very much longer in this stand of cucumbers. It's gonna be very productive. So um, that's, a, uh, that's a big, that's a big attaboy in Nancy's book for me because she loves these things. So we'll be back in the days ahead as soon as these things get on up. They should get on up to the top of this trellis with really no problem at all. They'll get up here and actually start running laterally out through the trellis. And I like it that way because then the cucumbers hang and I can, I can get them easy without getting on my hands and knees. So anytime I can do that, that's good. So we'll be back in the days ahead. We'll keep our eye on these beautiful cucumbers until we get us a nice harvest. So we'll see you soon. Well, good morning. Our Nagi cucumbers have been growing for two months. We planted them from seed on March the 1st and today is May the 1st. And they've done some really remarkable progress, especially considering we had two cold fronts come through. But they bounced back from that and really starting to do pretty good. Nancy and her mama are doing some maintenance today on them. They're pruning off any. We had, um, with the cool weather and the heavy rains that we had, we got a little bit of that powdery mildew started. So they're pruning off any of that uh, uh, dead uh, foliage that was on the bottom. And they're taking the, the uh, runners and they're holding them up to the trellis and they're tying them on with some garden twine so that these uh, tendrils can grab a hold of this uh, uh, trellis and we can uh, now take our our watering wand and we can stick it right underneath and water right on down the line without ever getting a leaf wet that's very important when you're trying to raise cucumbers they don't like their leaves wet so we are um, doing a little bit of maintenance today takes a little bit of time to do but well worth the investment of time and labor so anyway we're already starting to get some little cucumbers show up we um, we ate about seven or eight of them yesterday. <laughs> Nancy loves them, but they're coming in and they're really crispy. They're just not quite ready yet. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks and we'll take another look at them and we'll, we'll pick some together. Check it out. So we'll be back in a couple of weeks. See you then. Oh boy, Miss Nancy's cucumbers are coming into their own right now. So uh, they're going to continue to grow in the you know weeks ahead and keep climbing up that trellis. It's still putting on plenty of brand new growth and plenty of cucumbers. Let's head over to the uh, to the uh, um, harvest area and wash these up a little bit. Let's let's take a look at them up close. See you over at the harvest area. I wanted to show you these uh, Unagi cucumbers. These skins are very smooth. There's, there's no little prickly surface on it at, at whatsoever. It's just smooth as it can be. Uh, this right here is what I consider to be the perfect one. Long and slender. Get up a little bigger. I wouldn't want them to get any bigger than that. No, so this anywhere between there and there, that's what you want. Well, let's take a look up close at um, what the inside of these look like because they're very tasty. Let's check it out. I thought I'd just split one down the middle. Just let you see that. <laughs> There's really seeds in it, but they're very, very small and very very soft, they eat very easily. Let's split this again. Oh boy. Boy, that smells good. That's some beautiful little cucumbers right there. Let me do a little taste test on here.
Mm. Very crunchy and very juicy. And there's a lot of taste. It's, um, I, I get an explosion of taste when I bit into that. I wish you could have tasted it with me. But man, that's pretty good. And Nancy uh, and her mama, they just love these things and they make them and all, they use them in all kinds of stuff, things you'd never think about. All of a sudden it's got cucumber in it, so it's quite a little surprise for your mouth. <laughs> But anyway, I hope that uh, you enjoyed watching this little journey with us on these Unagi cucumbers. Today's, um, this is 12 weeks since we planted these from seed, and we've been actually harvesting these for at least two weeks now. And Nancy and her mama will come out here and they'll get a big harvest of this. I think they're planning on doing it tomorrow. They'll, they'll take just all the ones that are on there that are ready, they'll take them all off and um, they use them in all the stuff that they use. And um, then there's still more growth on the uh, top of the, of the top of the vine. So, you know, we'll probably get another, at least one more harvest out of these if I can just keep the um, powdered mildew beat down. You know, that that's a constant struggle with uh, cucumbers, but they seem to be doing pretty good and um, I'm quite pleased with, with the results. So this may be a, a variety of cucumber you want to try in your spring garden this year. And I hope that our video helped you, you know, just especially for the folks that are just growing a garden for the first time. We need more people like you. So until me and Nancy, see you next time. We always want to remember, by his hands, we are fed. Give us, Lord, our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Mm.